Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the Bowie style blade that I've been working on. I've had a lot of folks ask me for updates and made comments that were similar to keep us posted, be sure to show us the finished product. So today is that day. Before I do that, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can see any and all projects that are like these as well as truck bed camping and things of that nature. So let's get into it. Alrighty. So first things first, let's take a look at the sheath before I go ahead and pull this bad boy out. Uh, this is one of my uh, Kydex and leather hybrids, I call them. This isn't an original idea. I first saw this sort of an idea on another channel. Um, it may have been the Rivers, the Rivers experience. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure, but I didn't come up with the idea to adhere leather to Kydex. Uh, not many people do it though because it can be quite a big quite a big pain in the butt but essentially if we can look closely here this is a natural leather that is molded or sorry adhered to kydex so we've got our typical kydex layer in there that's the sheath um, we've got a small clip on it here and I've got eyelets all the way down so that this bad boy can be lashed to a pack or a bag considering its size. Uh, it's about a 10 inch blade so carrying it on your belt this is a solid clip it's not going anywhere but really this is the sort of blade that you'd carry in say like a bushcraft pack on your side. Uh, this, this was made for a friend of mine uh, Jake, for, thanks for being so patient. Um, he liked this so much, he's asked for another one. So uh, this was made specifically to be a chopper, so it's quite chunky. And you know, if you are a fan of Bowie's, that typically handles are a hidden tang. This is made with Pops 8670 steel in a full tang fashion. So it is quite quite the chopper so I wanted to make sure that she was tough so again really excited about this so let's go ahead and let's just get into it and I'll show you guys the blade I just didn't wanna didn't wanna not do this thing justice and and put out a short or something like that this, so you're not going to learn anything on this video. You're just going to see something that I'm really excited about and I wanted to show you guys. It's been a long time in the making, so let's do it. There she is. Again, this is Pops. Oh, can we get the focus? Working with a new camera as well, so I'm, I'm not very good at getting the focus, guys. So bear with me here. Pops 8670 steel, which is high carbon steel and a nickel. Uh, the handle is special as well because I used. The handle is special as well because I used American chestnut and these are brass Corby fasteners. And again, full tang construction. She's pretty awesome. So that's it really. I just wanted to show you this bad boy and show you how uh, show show you how proud I was of how it came out. This thing's freaking cool. So unfortunately though. I've got to send it off to my buddy. I can't even touch the edge. She's crazy sharp. So let's uh, show you guys the old, ye old paper test. Even the uh, she's got a wide edge on her but still cuts very well, which I'm super excited about. 
and uh, the clip sorry the clip point is a false edge I didn't sharpen I didn't sharpen that but the edge is I got a mirror polish and she is like I said quite chunky full tank construction so haha <laughs> alrighty folks that's it if you want to see more cool stuff for no reason at all um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel like I said I'd appreciate it we're moving along um, this thing's gonna be cool hopefully I can get some videos of it in action uh, the retention is fantastic on on this big old girl so strap it to a pack you put it upside down if you want to and you know what they say that's not going anywhere thanks for hanging out we'll talk to you soon